Good morning and welcome to our letter from home. You know, sometimes we forget who we are in Christ. And this is what we're talking about on Sunday. Colossians 3, 1 through 4. And we're looking at living in Christ. And our identity is our whole life and our, our destiny is bound up in Christ. But sometimes we forget that as Christians and we forget that as we as we work and we're with our family and we're just in this world, we forget who we are in Christ. So we hope to see you on Sunday as we dive into Colossians 3, 1 through 4 and remind ourselves of who we are and what our life really is. It's bound up in Christ. And that means we have a forgiven past. We have this amazing present relationship with God and we have a glorious future. So we hope to see you there on Sunday at Divisadero for church. Hey everyone, just a quick update on our men's mission team going down to the Mount of Olives on January 29th through February 2nd. Thank you for praying. The team's coming together well. We've got eight men going down, and right now we're in the uh, process of getting um, things prepped for the projects down there. So just pray at the logistics of it at this moment, and next week I'll give you another update. Love you guys. See you on Sunday. Hey, everyone. I hope you're having a great week. And I know I said this last week, but we are going to camp in the first weekend of February. We are full on our list, but the camp did let us know that they have spots. So if we needed to get more spots and you had an interest in sending your kid for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, we'd be happy to have you come. And also, I want to start up back again last night, and we're just excited to get together, and we're looking forward to the weeks to come. And so at the end of the month, we're going to do potato pet night where you create your own potato pet. And so we're looking forward to that. So the last Wednesday of the month, we'll do that. And we hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hi, church. Hey, a couple things to keep in front of you uh, for information and for prayer. Uh, first of all, this weekend, the high school ministry is going to be at Hume Lake Winter Camp, which I'm real excited about. It's one of my favorite things to get to do every year. Uh, but be praying for us. There's 63 students and 10 adults going. Uh, so just pray that the Lord uh, protects us as we travel and really speaks to, to all of us and does a great work uh, in the, the lives of everyone who's attending camp this weekend. Um, also coming up, just a reminder that Gleanings for the Hungry is uh, open for volunteers. If, if you want to serve in that area, that's going to be Friday, January 26th, all day. Um, if that's something that interests you, if you're available, we'd love to have you come out and serve and help just package um, food, and that will go out to, to serve missions and missionaries all over the world. Um, and then the last thing, just a reminder that the Purity Conference is coming up next month, February 23rd and 24th. And this is for junior high, high school, junior high students, high school students, and for your parents. And for you parents especially, this is um, such a, a great weekend that will encourage you, equip you um, with information and tools, and, and our hope is really empower you um, as you navigate this difficult um, conversation of, of sexual purity with your students. Um, we really hope that this is a weekend that, that serves all of you and blesses you. Um, so I encourage you to, to sign yourselves and your students up for that. Again, that's February 23rd and 24th, and you can sign up for that on our church website. So thank you, church, for all that you do. We love you, and God bless you. Hey, good Thursday morning. It is an exciting day. Um, there's a lot going on over at the ministry center. There's uh, landscaping going in, a lot of the finish work. The really exciting thing is that yesterday our inspector came in and did the secondary inspection and we passed and we have received our certificate of occupancy. Praise the Lord. And now what that means is that this Sunday uh, will be our last Sunday at Divisadero, and on Sunday, January the 21st, we will have our first service in the new ministry center. We're so excited about that, and that will be one service at 10 a.m., and it will be a glorious um, praise uh, service to thank the Lord that we're finally going to be in that in the ministry center. I would also like to let you know that we're planning to do moving this, this coming Saturday. If you could help with that, would you please contact Michael Lopes at the church office. We are mobilizing to move in chairs and things out of storage, and we need your help. Also, on the 21st in the evening will be our um, 
retirement celebration for Pastor John and Shelley, and that will be at 6 p.m. to be followed by a, uh, a dessert reception. And so put that on your calendar. We're looking forward to that. And praise the Lord, we are going to be in the new ministry center a week from Sunday. God bless you. Make it a great day.